Hey, welcome to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg and thank you for joining us. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. And when you do subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Chase Young is about ready to come back. Um, there were hopes that he would come, up, come back this week. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. They wanted to postpone things another week. But he's going to start practicing next week. Probably going to start the following uh, game. So not this Sunday's game against the Colts, but the following game. I have to check. I want to say, is that is that Minnesota? I don't know. I haven't looked at the schedule yet. But um, at any rate, we're going to get Chase Young back finally. Finally. Right? So back for the second half of the season. And the hope is that... If Washington can pull out a victory this weekend, they'll be 4-4. Four and four. Clean slate, right? You're back to 500. You feel like the season is yours for the taking. You know, you're, you're back to zero, you know, zero, zero, right? Uh, it's like at the beginning of the season again. You get your Chase Young back. Um, the defense is 100% stout again. The defensive line. Uh, the defense has played really well. Um, you have... Uh, Jamin Davis, who has played really well, um, you know, at the beginning of the season, I think a lot of us were pretty much writing him off. And since that point, Jamin Davis has really stepped up. Um, I've been very proud of him. you got to give him props. Uh, but now you're looking at some injuries coming into this game. So if we don't step ahead yet, let's not look past the Colts game. Let's look, look at this Colts game and we look at the injuries. We're still not going to have Jahan Dotson, according to Ron Rivera. Um, things are still tight with that hamstring injury, so he's going to be out. Um, I'm not quite sure about Logan Thomas. Uh, I hope we do get him back because we really need Logan Thomas. Because uh, it looks like Cole Turner is going to be out with that uh, concussion. So tight ends are thin at this point. To get Logan Thomas back would be a huge blessing. And we'll have to wait and see. Um, Cole Holcomb, speaking of Coles, uh, he has been out with a, a foot this uh, this week. Um, Ron Rivera is going to have to wait and see how things are going to look today to see if uh, he was going to be able to practice today. But we're going to have to see his status on Sunday. We really do need Cole Holcomb because he is a tackling machine. And you just you need Holcomb in there. You really do. I mean... Honestly, if Holcomb doesn't start, uh, I would I would really say put John Bostic in there. Um, I have more confidence in John Bostic than I do David Mayo. But at any rate, I would rather have Holcomb in there. But, you know, of course you want him in there at 100%. Um, a lot of people have actually been on the, the injury list this week. Um, but, you know... Such as, as the case with that, you know, they're, they're just trying to, to be cautious. But having said all that, yes, Chase Young coming back. I am excited to see him come back. Um, finally, we're getting to see Chase Young after a year of him being out with the ACL. Chase Young's coming back. Let's see what type of effect he's going to have on the game. I think just having him back in there is going to help tremendously. And you'll probably see him rotate out quite a bit. You're not going to see him probably making as many uh, or being in there for as many plays as you normally would. I would probably say that Smith-Williams will continue to get the bulk of the snaps, but you will see Chase Young back in there starting. Um, and But you will see a heavy rotation coming out of there and uh, you'll probably continue to see that until it kind of dwindles down, so to speak, um, toward the end of the season, especially if the Washington Commanders are in a position to where they are able to make the playoffs somehow by the grace of God, then you will see Chase Young's snaps go up tremendously at that point, especially if he looks like he is 100% healthy. Um other than that, I think, you know, heavy rotation for Chase Young, but it just be, will be nice. It would be a morale booster to have Chase Young back in there and starting it again for us. Um, let's see how Taylor Heineke does against the Colts. You know, he had a rocky start 
against the Packers, but you know, how much of that was nerves? How much of that was, of course, you know, playing against his childhood favorite team? You know, that could have been some of that as well. Um, but he really came into his own, I thought, in the second half. Um, the Boo Birds will say he could have had four or five interceptions. Well, you know, you look at the quarterbacks around the league, you can say that <laughs> with honestly just about any quarterback. Um, any quarterback can throw three or four interceptions in a game. But uh, Taylor Heineke didn't. He, he threw that one really bad interception that turned into a pick six. And yes, he played awful, but he got better, and then he turned into the Taylor Heineke that, honestly, we all uh, grew to love watching uh, the year before. So let's see what he does in this game. We've got to have Taylor Heineke on point because we really need him at least for the next, what, four to six games possibly. Um, we need him to try to win as many of those games as possible. Uh, this team needs to make a run, and it has to start now. And um, you've, got, you've got a clear shot at a good stretch of, of winning. And uh, the Colts, hey, You've got a quarterback that um, doesn't have a lot of experience, and but he's a, he's a smart quarterback. He's a very athletic quarterback, and I've heard he's got a really good arm. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of um, intangibles there that, you know, the commanders have to be watching out for. But at the same time, this is an opportunity. This is a golden opportunity for the Washington Commanders to pick up a W and to get back to 500. And then suddenly you are looking at the NFC East going, every single team in that conference or in that division is good. And every single team in that division possibly could be in the playoffs by the end of the season, depending on what happens. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you think about Chase Young coming back, about everything we talked about. Again, um, please, if you are enjoying this channel uh, and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I'm not sure why you haven't subscribed. Uh, and hit that notification bell so you know when I come out with another video release. And if you can, please interact with this video. It doesn't take anything to like this video. Hit the thumbs up on this video. Comment if you have time to comment. Share this video. Um, the YouTube algorithm is kicking me in the pants because I was out all last week because of COVID. And uh, quite frankly, my videos are just not getting pushed whatsoever. And that is just so sad with the effort I'm trying to put into this, uh, this channel. But, you know, wham, wham, boo, boo. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.